Falcons franchise. Let's finish signing these people. Franchise tag, last chance to negotiate. 77 overall. I did want him. So we'll increase that back and see if he'll accept that. Not interested, all right. No big deal. Everybody else, sorry if you're getting a seizure from that. Um, okay, so let's reject. Rejecting the fifth year option will result in the player having one more season remaining on their contract. Can we resign? Um, hold on. 15 mil? Nah, let's just reject the offer for now. And then we're good. And he, then he wants <laughs> pretty much that. But that's okay. Uh, so we have 46 million dollars. I'm definitely focused on trying to sign a lot of players. Let's see what our roster looks like and see what we can sign. Let me grab pen and paper here. So we want to draft a QB. A running back is fine. We will need a fullback. We are definitely going to need a receiver. Uh, tight end, not worried about. Um, O-line is always good. Um, so left end or any end really. Um, linebackers are huge. Corner is going to be large as well. Then corner. All right. That's going to be our focus. I got all those positions written down now. We can definitely try and see who we can pick up in free agency. But uh, honestly, 43, 46 mil is not an insane amount in cap space. But let's see. Don't really need to see combine results. If you guys want to, let me know for next season, obviously. Sign free agents. Who is available? We could get Josh Allen. But half the league is literally interested in him, which I don't blame. Um, yeah, it's just not really an option. Uh, we could get Michael Pittman. The problem with some of these is that it's a little scary because... We don't know um, if our rookie quarterback situation is going to go well. But I think I'm going to try to get Ladarius Sneed here. So, okay, let me look at positions. Let's look at receiver first just to see what's available. We can get um, Odell wants to sign with us for whatever reason. Kendrick Bourne. Um, DJ Clark wouldn't be too bad, and zero teams are interested in him. Uh, okay, so we have some possible options. I wouldn't mind drafting one either. Um, O-line. Not really the best options. I wouldn't mind signing him. 78 overall center. So what does it tell me? 
doesn't tell me anything about who I have at these positions, I don't think. Uh, so no O-line here. So I might want to try to go after this center there. Left end, not really any options. Other side, oh, this is D-tackle first. Um, okay, we got some options here at D-tackle, but not my biggest need. Uh, we could try to get Leonard Williams. He really wants to sign and nobody else is going for him. Um, okay, we're going to try to negotiate for him. 12 mil, 30. We're going to do two years. We're going to do that as our offer. Offer strength, not that bad. But his motivations are high, so I'm hoping that that plays a factor. We need all possible linebackers that we can get. Um, not those overalls I don't want. Levante Dayton and Bobby Wagner wouldn't be bad for a year each. Josh Allen, everybody wants, but then Sheck Barrett wouldn't be super bad either, and nobody wants him. But the problem is, these guys are only good for about a year or two. Um, corner wise, everybody's interested in Sneed, nobody wants Steven Nelson. Maddox, two teams are interested in him. Hmm. Okay, but that's it. That's all we're really looking for. I'll go ahead and look at these safeties, but it's not who I'm going to sign quarterback wise. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to sign one of them. Um, okay. Let's get a receiver, because we're going to need one. Um, I might have to play hardball here for Pittman. But I could do Samuel, since nobody else wants him. God, dude, this would be... Okay, remaining cap would be 25. 10 mil a year. I'm going to do two and that. Okay. Um, everybody's so old. <laughs> Everybody is so old. Nobody wants Tyron Smith, though, for whatever reason. Probably just because he's a band aid for a year. Um, I might pick up the center, try to anyway, two years, I don't mind that, starting a center, I can place him anywhere. isn't really an option. And then we got D-line. Going for Leonard Williams. I wouldn't mind doing Leonard Floyd. Because he's okay. I'm going to do, yeah, one year, that's it, alright, and then let's see what we can do, Stephen Clowney, people want, um, I'll give Bobby Wagner a, a one year deal, Just because he's a beast. And I 
just going to have to leave this one alone, pretty much. I could do one... Oh, I maxed on Eva, okay. Alright. And then I didn't target any corners, which is probably not great. Um... Okay, I'm gonna withdraw and then try to get a corner. I'll withdraw from Floyd. And then go try to snag a corner. Everybody wants Ladarius Sneed, he's not interested in me. Patrick Peterson for a year, damn you look old. Um, jeez, man. Yeah, nobody's really here either, to be honest. And that zone and press is pretty bad everywhere. Marcus Peters ain't that bad. Your eight's all the way around. Okay, I'll give you a one-year deal. Try to anyway. All right. Spending almost all of my cap here. Eval offers my signings. Okay, we got a center targeted. We are the only ones still in the hunt for these four. Eval again. My signings are right. We got Leonard Williams, brand new defensive end. Alright, everybody is in the hunt for you now, but we'll go ahead and evaluate again. My signings, Bobby Wagner, Leonard William. Alright, we got everybody. There we go. So we made a splash everywhere. We got a new starting middle linebacker, at least for a year. New defensive end for two. Got a starting receiver for two. Got a helping corner for one, and a starting center for two. And that's all we can do. Wasted all of our cap, but it was worth it. I know a lot of those guys were band-aids like I was talking about, but there wasn't very many big splashes we could make this year with that. With the team and cap that we had next year, we'll definitely uh, fix the cap space a little bit, keep going a little bit more, mock draft 4, what are we looking like, okay, getting closer to having the quarterback be, so we want not Wit and Lewis is who we want, and we're getting close to having that be an option. Um, we also want basically defense or receivers or O-line if we can. I'm not sure what all our scouts looked at. We got some outside linebacker, receiver there. Okay. I'm not sure what weakest and strongest is. That has to be for the draft, because our weakest position is not our running back. So there must just not be a lot of running backs in this uh, draft class, which is fine. Um, but we... We'll go ahead and skip 
so we still can't sign anybody with five mil. But we'll have to do it after the season or draft a fullback or something after uh, in round seven. Something. All right, view free agency recap. Let's see, Tyron Smith to the Washington Commanders, Josh Allen to the Colts, Pitlin. Okay, Cardinals making big splashes, Levante David. Bears making big splashes. Okay, so we got some big splashes in there. Overall-wise, yeah, overall-wise, we did pretty good. We got some of the top free agents this year. All right, last mock draft here, and we will get started with it. Hot, and Lewis is still close, so we might have to move up. We'll see who takes who. I don't know why the Steelers are taking him, but maybe they already gave up on Kenny Pickett. I can't be uh, too mad at that. We're not going to do all of this stuff. I don't want trade offers. We're going to go ahead. So trade offers for our... Let's look at our team real quick. So quarterback problem, obviously. Don't have a fullback. Receivers, we have two. <laughs> um, O-line. I would say we got a little better. D-line. Leonard Williams will go on the other side, and then we pretty much stayed overall same, not bad. Linebackers with Bobby Wagner, we got better. Outside, we did not. Um, corners overall stayed the same. Hopefully, we can pick a decent, uh, whatchamacallit, up. One, two, three, four, five, and two sixes, and no seven this year. Get a different corner in the draft. Damn it. Forgot to take this dude off. I don't know why it automatically puts people on the trade block, but we don't want to trade him. We picked him up for a reason so he could start somewhere. Either one of the guard positions or whatchamacallit. But let us start the draft, everybody. Oh. Alright, start the NFL draft. With the next selection, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Alright. Skip to the next pick. With the next selection, they took the, the quarterback. So that leaves which quarterbacks left? Two top five quarterbacks. And honestly, if Lewis is a scheme fit, then we can maybe wait. But they might fall. Washington takes outside linebacker. The Jets take a different outside linebacker. Bears take a receiver. Seahawks take Braden Knott. So we are down now. God, Kitty, you all right there? To our last QB. So we need to trade up for him. So we need to trade the Giants, who definitely want a quarterback, I'm guessing. Uh, why is it Cowboys? Oh, here we go. Okay, the Giants needs quarterback. Oh, 
where is your what is going on here trade finder the giants there we go okay so I will get rid of my quarterback give them one and I'll swap them first round picks and I want their dude the Giants, goddammit. I want their first round pick. And they want guards and a right end and a center. So we could swap this. Let's just see what they want. Oh, that's it. Okay, so they have Desmond Ritter now, and we are on the clock. Let's make our selection for a top five quarterback, Tim Lewis, who is a scheme fit, good at throwing under pressure, a sure accuracy, needs some deep accuracy, but that can definitely be developed. Throw under pressure is great at B, play action is B, which is nice. Awareness is already B, which is nice. But we will select Hidden Dev Trait, Tim Lewis. Throw power is 92, which is good. Decent speed at 78. Alright. Hidden Dev Quarterback, Tim Lewis. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and we'll advance a couple, see what everybody takes for the first couple and then we'll start simming. Alright, Raiders take the last quarterback. So I'm glad I moved up because the Giants definitely would have taken it. Who are they taking now? Defensive end. Back-to-back -back Cardinals picks. D-line and O-line. Okay. Both trenches. Texans. Alright. Line going away. Jags. Colts take a safety. The Saints take a quarterback as well. I thought he was already taken. I thought somebody already took that guy. <laughs> I swear. Maybe not. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and yeah, we'll finish this first round. Corner, all the corners are going. Maybe it's just because all of these pictures look the same. Tied in to the Bengals for the first round. The Bucks take quarterback as well, so a bunch of brand new quarterbacks for the league starting, I'm guessing. Chiefs take a bunch of corners going this season. Ravens take a D-tackle. Makes sense because Pierce isn't there anymore. The line Broncos take a quarterback as well, and the Cowboys Super Bowl winners to end the first one, take a receiver. Alright, skip until our pick. Alright, let's see who and what is here to fill our needs. One to two talent. Lots of possibilities, really sucks. Um... We don't really need a safety, so we got two. 
catching in general is C to F. I don't know how you do that and you're a receiver. I don't need a tight end. Um, o line. Awareness and impact blocking both A. Oh, okay, so I see. So quarterback, which we got, receiver, and then kind of some O-line here. Okay. Uh, round two to three is what we're looking like. All right, so... Round one to two projection. I'm liking this offensive line choice. It might not be the best for a team need. Uh, but it's better than the safeties and tight ends. And that's just a whole lot of questions to me. Oh, I see catching traffic is C. That's catching, but still. Not sure how that makes sense. And we do need a different corner. Six five. Solid great. Solid solid. Speed is good. Strength is good. B spec S and C release is all we have though. But you are somebody that we need. So I'll do it. Hidden Dev, 91 speed, 91 jumping, great. Hidden Dev, very nice, I'm happy with that. Get some good receivers for our young quarterback. We're just gonna skip ahead like this for the rest of the time. Let's see what we can find here. Don't need a receiver, don't need this. D-tackle though, no. Not with those stats, sir. Don't need a quarterback. Okay. B man, C to B, B catching though. Stopper, zone is C. What are you? Great acceleration, elite, decent change of direction, great jumping, marginal speed. Eh. Okay, so not that fast. Savvy defender with ball in the air, has a motor that runs through the whistle, often looks to rip the ball from runners, so great discipline, won't get flagged. That's good. B man. C price isn't great. B to D zone is questionable. But what do we have here? Physical player, bone crushing hits, savvy defender ball. Okay, so same thing. Lots of just possibilities here. Poor acceleration, solid, good, good marginal, so not that great, honestly. You just can hit hard. Player recognition is good. Power moves, while it's a nice letter, it's not really needed for a linebacker. Not a middle one, anyway. So I think we're gonna take this corner. But you're a good cover linebacker even though it says you're a run stopper. If you're a run stopper with B zone coverage, I like you, man. B zone A tackle. F and S though, but what do you got? Block shedding B to D. I like you. 
That's a lot of jumping out that it does to me. And we need to outside backer for the long run, so let's do it. Hidden dev again. 84 speed. Not the most, the strongest guy out there, but three back-to-back -back hidden dev choices in the top three rounds. So we got a quarterback, receiver, and an outside backer. So now it's just whoever is best. We could be looking to go down, but so far I've not really needed to. It's now around round four, and you're telling me it's round two to three for choices. Makes me not want to take you. Round two to three for you, speed rusher. I don't see anything jumping out to me with that. Um, tackle and everything sucks for you. Man coverage for safety isn't bad. Coverage, linebacker, and literally everything else is pretty bad. Um, yeah, these are all around three to fours. Everybody else is day three. So... Be released though, not bad, and a deep threat, so I'm hoping for some speed. Simple concentration drops, that uh, does not make me want to do that. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Uh, you just can't, I don't know how you're a receiver with those Traits over there, man. Powers B, really good cover. Safety. Just can't really tackle. What are you looking like? Pretty good overall coverage with good hit power. But your tackling is not great. There's your pursuit. Man, this is difficult. I might just... I might just be done, honestly. Um, how many do we have? So... Outside linebacker, safety, defensive end. We fixed the defensive end. So, and uh, we, it says we do need a strong safety, though. What about you? Everything is good for the most part. Good pursue. C tackles, uh, pay rec is bad. B zone. Alright, we'll think about that guy. Think about Harris here. Um, we got outside linebacker. So, yeah, we pretty much just don't see anybody else except Harris. So, welcome to the team. Speed jumping. It is what it is. Alright, we'll skip. Round five. Let's see. If 
anybody's worth it here. Two to three. Three to four. If you're three to four fallen, then ain't really worth it. Deep threat. Not really worth it. D line. Yeah, man, these guys suck. Yeah, all of these guys are pretty bad. Let's see, press isn't terrible. I might do. Yeah, tight end just really is not needed. But if we can't re sign Kyle Pitts, then maybe it is. And he would be on a better deal than somebody else. Alright. We're going to try to think a little bit ahead in that regard. Pretty good at everything. So let's go for it. Normal 83 speed. 71 strength, not the best. But a possible needed choice. Not only if we lose Kyle Pitts, but if we... Um, Uh, whatchamacallit, to drop some of the other tight ends that we have for a better cap situation. Alright, round six, these guys obviously aren't going. Um, yeah, nobody's really, okay, D-tackle with all of that, that looks pretty good to me. Power rusher. Okay, borrow looks good. Left outside, pursue. You got some possibilities, and if your pass coverage your zone is probably at least a B or C. Uh, we already took one of you. I'm not looking for another. Vertical threat. power move yeah I like that uh, this other guy B power move B tackle and then B to D finesse D block shed isn't great but almost 300 pounds 21 years old Pretty decent at everything. Okay. I don't hate that. 89 strength. I wish that would have been a tiny bit better, at least in the 90s. But I think uh, I think he's going to be a good backup because Omanyata is also super old. So we're trying to get some very late young talent that we can at least have as backups. Uh, but at this point, I think I'm gonna just try to get rid of my picks. There's not really any fillers that I need. Oh, this is our last choice. Yeah, there's just not really any fillers that I need at this point. And I'm not seeing anybody really worth it. I could actually get our fullback and just let that be done. I think that's what I'm going to do here. Utility, what's the best? A lead block. Okay. What's the 
the best rating I see. Lead block A to C. Ooh, okay. You're actually better. Okay. I like it. With the next pick, the Jacksonville Jaguars are on the clock. Good lead block A to B. Pass and B run. I like that for a four year fullback that we don't have to, you know, deal with. And that is the draft, everyone. Let's see how well we did. Three hidden dev trait peeps. Draft recap. Let's see what we got. 70 overall quarterback. I was hoping that would be more. 73 receiver, which is not that bad, actually. 74 linebacker, which is nice. And then some height 60s and uh, 73 fullback to end it. So not too bad, not too bad. Let's see our new quarterback ratings here. 70 overall. Accuracy is not too bad. A lot of it's decent. It can definitely just be increased with time. We didn't get a corner, which stinks, but that's alright. Hidden dev receiver. Okay, you really just need some route running, honestly. A little bit more catching, but definitely not a bad choice. And you just need some block shedding and some moves, but other than that, you're pretty solid. Good at tackling, you're fast. So yeah, just some more increases. Everybody else is just kind of help. But we will go to the best. Let's do overalls. Left guard, Steelers take an 82 quarterback. That was the top receiver of the class. Top linebacker. Not very high overall class. Ravens get it nice. And then that's the quarterback we're going to be facing. Okay, yeah, we were on the lower end of the overalls for all of this. For sure. Our highest overall was what, 74? Yeah. And then two threes, one of them being a fullback, and then our quarterback. But yeah, those quarterbacks, for being top five talent, not too great. Let me see picks wise. Round pick two. So you were a 74 overall instead of my 70. Would I have rather taken you? You're not hidden dev, but your overall much better, 90 throw power, 96 throw power, better accuracy and everything. So, it's basically, do you want the dev trait or do you want better starting stats? It's kind of how that went. Alright, we will adjust our roster. Let's see what we need to do. So hopefully our quarterback situation will get better throughout the years. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna go... You two... Well, I don't have to adjust, actually. So we're just going to look at who we have. So now we got D-line. Oh, 
uh, we're gonna start him probably, yeah, I'll probably start him at left and then move him to right. Bobby Wagner, corners, pretty much the same, honestly. And then safety is pretty much the same as well. What do we got picks wise? We got Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. We got a full setup for this next year. Alright, everybody, that is it. Draft recap and adjusted roster, even though we didn't do anything. And I will set up our depth chart and everything in the background on a different day. And we will get this next uh, season going. Let's see. I'm going to take you off of trade block because we're going to need you this year. Um, and then we'll check salaries real quick right here before I go. Team salaries. We are only 8 mil in cap space, but we have a lot, not too many people going out. Wagner will be gone. We need to keep Kyle Pitts and our top corner. And then the rest of these guys I'm not super worried about. But that's quite a bit. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen people. And while a lot of them aren't that big, the ones that are are some of our best players. These two being right here, and we'll get essentially free cap space with some other people. Uh, but depending on how many, yeah, we have 59 people, so we have to cut six anyway, so that'll free up some more cap.